Hey, Lyle here. I'm out in my shop, which I'm currently in the middle of uh, doing some serious spring cleaning. I'm getting back into uh, cleaning up the workspace so I can figure out what I want to be making this summer. Anyway, we're talking about these knives today. Three leg dog knives and these things are stunning. Oh my goodness. This one, this one happens to be mine. I love it. Featuring Magna Cut blade steel. This harpoon uh, blade shape, it's really, really cool. And carbon fiber on these inlays and the G10 uh, handle scales. Also have the carbon fiber pivot collar right there. And these huge, fat, titanium liners with a liner lock that is almost as robust as a frame lock. See that in there? It's pretty cool. Anyway. We're gonna actually head back into the studio where it's a lot cooler and we're gonna check out some three leg dog knives. with me here in the studio today, the H4 Standard and the H4 MIDI. This one is mine. And I have to admit, I'm a little bit torn because I absolutely love this uh, teal blue wood burl inlay, but I wanted the bigger blade. And so I got the bigger knife. Let's talk some specs. They both feature Magna Cut blade steel with a hand rub satin finish at 62 HRC. They both have these thick titanium liners and are considered a uh, liner lock. But you can see this uh, this liner lock system is pretty pretty beefy. The action is fantastic. They each have G10 handle scales over those liners, and feature these just beautiful inlays and pivot collars. The H4 standard is coming in at 8.75 inches in length with a harpoon blade shape that I really like, and that's 3.75 inches in length and it has these sunset orange fat carbon inlays and pivot collars that just look absolutely stunning. The H4 MIDI is coming in at 7.25 inches. It's got a 3.25 inch drop point blade with these beautiful teal blue stabilized wood burl handle and collar inlays on G10. Yep, just gorgeous work. Make sure to go check out riversedgecutlery.com and just search three leg dog and you will see some of the models that we have in stock and many that we've sold and see some of the amazing designs that Rianne has sent us. Let's do some size comparisons. Let's first up, put it up against the Spartaco Paramilitary 2 and the Para 3. You can see that the MIDI is comparable in length uh, to the Para 3. I can get that in the shot there. And, um, uh, well, the big guy is a little bit bigger than a PM2. Here is a Hinderer or Eclipse 3.0. And here is a full size XM18. Just checking out the size. About the Spider Co. Shaman. And then, uh, for the smaller blade, a Civivi Elementum. And then I want to put two up next to the standard size. This is a full size Spartan Harzi folder. And that's the closest knife in size. It's actually a little bit bigger than the three leg dog that I have in my collection with me here at the studio, as well as let's put it next to the Spartaco Manix 2, which is one of my favorite larger blades to carry. There you have it. Pretty big knife, almost nine inches long. It is absolutely drop shut. I mean, even the smaller blade, there's not much effort <laughs> to to make that thing fall into place. And the larger blade is uh, even more of a bit of a guillotine. Yep. The action is super smooth. Let's look at some of the design here, the jimping on the spine there, as well as on this version, you've got that nice 
harpoon style swedge going on up there. The ergonomics are fantastic. Similar design on the small one with the jimping right there and the very well designed, comfortable ergonomics. Lockup is nice and solid with those titanium liners. And you do get a titanium uh, pocket clip as well. G10 on the backspacer. Here on the midi, you might not be able to tell on the video, but there's a slight crown. Since this is just a drop point blade and not a harpoon, I think most of his designs have a slight crown on the spine. Yeah, you can kind of see it in the light. Gorgeous, gorgeous knives. At the time of this video, we have a few 3LDs available, including this H4 MIDI. We're just about to make about eight more available very soon. Possibly by the time this video is published, we will have some of the W5 series in standard length and the W5 MIDI, which are a little bit smaller, and all have Beautifully made handles and inlays over thick titanium liners feature that hand set and finish. Magna Cut steel blade 62 HRC, all except for a G8 model, which features a really sweet looking carbon Damascus steel blade. I'll try and put some pictures up for you. Would you just look at it? Just look at it. This is a fantastic design. I don't know about you, but I love to get to know the people who make the knives for us. I just find it fascinating to get to know them. And when the maker is really cool and just a super nice guy, that makes it all the better. So here's a note from Three Leg Dog, the man himself, Rion Manser. I am sorry, Rion, if I mispronounce your name in any way, my friend. I started my knife making journey in the early to middle 80s while I was still in school, earning some pocket money and making blades that I otherwise could not afford myself. Life happened, and I only picked up the hobby of knife making in the early 2000s again. My three-legged pit bull started in establishing the 3LD brand, and his story is widely known across the world. My passion for making folding knives grew into a business, and I made it my full-time job in 2016. I was accepted in the South African Knife Makers Guild in 2019, and was fortunate to be accepted into the Knife Makers Guild USA in 2023. Knife making is my passion, and making an affordable working folder with the best materials available is my goal. I also mentor young and aspiring knife makers to become successful in the trade. A new hobby of mine is IPSC shooting. I grew into the sport by competing in the local leagues and hopefully on a national level soon. I put God and family first in my life, and I am blessed to be a part of the international knife community. Man, that is really cool. Thank you so much for sharing your story with us, Rian. We are happy to be sharing your designs with the world. Great stuff. And let me tell you, I love this thing. Oh my gosh, it's so good. What about you? Do you own any full custom knives in your collection? Let us know in the comments. Thanks so much for watching. Have a great day and we'll see you in the next one.